I don't know the changes. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Um, I have received a transmission from Roseway from a Dr. Shaw. Okay. Guess we're right into it. Welcome back, Captain. I have received a transmission from Roseway from a Dr. Shaw. Beginning playback now. What? Oh, is this on? Oh, it's on right now. Oh, blast. Hello? I'm trying to reach the captain of the Unreliable. I'll keep this short lest I get caught. Please return to Roseway as soon as you can. I have an item of great value that you'll be interested in. Now, how do I... How does this blasted thing turn off? Damn engineers never label these toggles clearly. Is it the... The transmission is complete, Captain. Why are they numbered now? Okay. Well. Sure. Mm -hmm. Why are they numbered now? They shouldn't be numbered now. Dang it. I've been playing on the Switch a lot lately, so I apologize for the fact that... Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Okay, yeah, the text is definitely a lot bigger. And I guess they were numbered Goodbye. before. So, I'm just gonna switch that back so I can read things. Um, I've been playing the Switch a lot lately, so I'm getting my... X and Circle mixed up because of their placements of A and B. Well, let's go back to Roseway, because apparently that's where they want us, even though we're already on the Monarch. We'll, co we'll continue that in a second. Let's go check out what they wanted at Roseway before we end up concluding Roseway, anything. Captain. Do we have any quests that could be done here? No. Monarch, Solar Bay, Monarch, Fallbrook. Notice though, it doesn't change the size of the text here, where it's the most concerning, but okay. We'll take Ellie and... Pravati, because that's who we ha we've had w for a while. Sam, we'll take you later on. We'll get to know you too. Don't worry. Okay, so... Keep forgetting fall damage is a thing. Yeah, I don't actually have a quest for that, so I just, thankfully, I remember who it was. De de delays in loading due to commerce obstruction Structure will be deducted from all staff pay. So it should be you that want to talk. Ah, I remember you. You must have received my wireless. Thank the law. I went to great risk to send that. Okay, I did. So what do you mean by an item of great value? Aha, I knew that it'd entice you to return to our dangerously unprofitable township. I asked you here because I have a working prototype of the Alti Nature, Anti Cleo's very first weapon. I'd like you to have it before it gets confiscated. I don't understand why you're giving this to me. The schematics you fetched for me lent themselves well to the creation of the beauty you now possess. Unfortunately, Anti Cleo R&D felt otherwise. The market's already saturated, they said. Weapons are everywhere. They aren't interested in mass-producing the Alti nature, which makes this an illegal prototype weapon. Given your unlawful proclivities, I thought it'd be safest with you. 
So here we are. I'd rather see it in the hands of a free agent than destroyed. I don't blame you. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll put it to good use. Just come back for a gun. That's cool. So... It's so weird looking. And it's horrible compared to my current shotgun. Er, handgun. Okay, so it actually uses energy cells, so that's cool. I could I could probably replace my shot cannon with it. It doesn't seem to be super worth it though. Especially since I already have a handgun that's better than it. Um, I'll keep it on me for now. Maybe once I end up broke and need money, I'll sell it. it does corrosive damage, though. But it's not amazing. I feel pretty bad for that loader, not gonna lie. It's just trying to do its job. But yeah, so that was kind of a waste to come back. Sit through that many loading screens. Well, on to the Monarch. It's better than leaving some things unfinished. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Oh man, I want to see this. Hey, Max. What? You really think we all have a purpose? That everything happens for a reason? It's not really that simple, but yes, fine. Anything else? If that's the case... Is it my purpose to annoy you, or yours to be annoyed by me? Go away. You can't deny fate, Vicar. Something on your mind? No, we're good. Scanning for C, two, five, four, seven, grade rated contaminants. You can fire him. Good work, Sam. Thank you, customer. Warning! Raptid on claws carry bacteria and have the potential to cause organic death due to massive amounts of blood loss. Service cancellation request processing. Um. Back to work, Sam. I'm just, just gonna leave him be. So we got five doors, and we have one more slot for a companion. So I wonder how long it's going to be till we get our next companion, and what they're going to be like. Cause like, the, my favorite thing about these is everyone has a different personality, and I love that the, they conflict sometimes. Well, let's go to the Stellar Bay Landing Pod because. I tried this. I'm not ready for this. I got destroyed. And that wasn't fun. We're now in orbit of a stellar bay, Captain. Cool, let's take... We're, we're taking Parvati with us again. Okay, no, um, actually Parvati, as much as I adore you, all that you're needed here is, like, Cake or food ingredients, Vicar Max, on the other hand, has a companion quest to continue. And Ellie, we still don't know about. Felix also hasn't given us a companion quest, so that kind of is confusing me. Uh, 
Okay. Welcome to Stellar Bay. That's stealing. We don't steal. Is there a button on this? Yes, okay. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Okay. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Yep. You seem surprised. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. Ah. Takes a bit more than a few gunships to scare me. Wish more folk could say that. Gets awful quiet guarding a landing pad that never gets used. You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-world traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Um... Captain Bella. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. Oh, thank you. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Is Stellar Bay really that isolated? We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. You're not what I expected to find, a monarch. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. So, the board's been lying about this place? Oh, sure. It makes Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. Get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. Ah, the nostalgic stench of home. Can't say I miss the day-to-day -day of living in Edgewater. Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. Okay, well, I, I appreciate it, dude. I'm gonna have a look around town. Mr. Sanjar will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, Maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? Sure. I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tossball poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Sure, I can ask. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. His excitement is adorable. I'm sorry. Um, how much money I got? I got a thousand bits. I think I'm good on light ammo, but I don't know how I'm doing on heavy ammo. Not that I've really been using heavy ammo, so... I'm not gonna worry about buying anything until I'm out. Okay. Well. Um. Let's continue our quests. So, the first one that's going to be simple enough will, will be probably the companion quest. You're in Fallbrook, so I don't need to worry about you. Purchased a dust bag casserole from Chef Raymond in Stellar Bay. That should be simple enough. 
What are the chances of all the times and places we could have been born? Yeah. Wrap mask and canid eyes right here. Ma'am, please. I need your help. I can pay. What's up? Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a Raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. It's more dissolving than melting. <laughs> that is not helpful. Okay, um, calm down, take a deep breath, and tell me what happened. Don't you tell me to calm down. I promised my boy I'd protect him for always. But how can I keep him safe if he's run away? He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs, and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools, and poisonous plants. But he didn't listen. Please, won't you go and find my boy? Sure. <laughs> Did you say there's a reward? Okay, no, um, first, why would he run away? He's been pining for an adventure. Says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's ripped his arm off and is gnawing on his sweet little fingers. He should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. Okay, I'll go. I'll go check. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. No guarantees. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. Okay. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Okay, well, since this is actually, I believe this may be a time-dependent one, let's go find Tucker. Hey, Tucker. Last thing I want to do is end up waiting around and finding out, oop, he did get munched. I get a feeling that he ran away. Wow, it's pretty here. I get a feeling that he ran away, but he's probably like- Hold on to your hats, children. This ride is about to get ugly. I'm gonna assume like 40. Okay, more Rapidons. Let's stick to the road. Their mistake. Nice hit! Never anger a man of the claw. Fighting me. Guess it's technically Ellie's first fight where we're not getting instantly killed, isn't it? Okay, well, we're supposed to go to Amber Heights, so let's continue on. Have mercy on you. I won't. These guys are also much higher level. Captain, to your right. Where? Got him. That one's done. 
done for. Yeah, I kind of felt bad. Also, we have a severed arm over here. I have a drug addiction. I don't want to have a drug addiction, no. Also, I'm just healing myself. I actually probably should change what I use to heal myself. Okay, let's let's just let's use these. How do I rotate? Oh, well, that was wasted. Can't do that. Oop, that's not the right button. How do I take these out? Inha inhaler automatically uses Adreno when possible. Okay. So I don't actually need this here. Because I'm automatically using it. I think. No, I do need that equipped. Okay. Oh, it uses whatever's in there. Okay. So it uses the the bread, which is what's helping us out. The Adreno is that, and I think I'm going to add I mean, I got a lot of Rapidon meat. We'll add that in there. So every time I use that now, it'll automatically heal me, and it'll also... It should also lower the cooldown on my companion skills. If that works the way it's... Here they come! Seems like it's supposed to work. trick I learned in prison. Man, they let every anybody into the church. Ew. Ew, that looks gross. Okay. I've had quite enough of you. I'm guessing he died before I could use that. Just lower the sound effects of that a little bit. Man, I just can't aim with this. They won't try that again. Your assault rifle's not actually great. Ooh. That's probably deadly. Make him regret it. Man, you guys don't watch me to see me aim, do you? Nice hit! Nice one! Bugs in game Get never up. fail. Yeah. Huh. 
Honestly, <laughs> there's not many bugs that I've actually ran into, so I gotta say, give the game props. Also, I'm passively taking corrosive damage. Like, other than this, like, graphic glitch, I haven't really found a whole lot of problems with this game, and that's kind of amazing at, at the state our game industry is right now. Definitely doing a lot better than Bethesda. Can't get past that armor! Don't mind me, just gotta take my drugs. Can't get past that armor! I'll take your confession now! I never would have thought a like a religious person would be my favorite character in this game. But he's so badass. Okay. Um I honestly am just gonna put them all under my gun. I level up fast enough that I don't need to worry too much. Carry capacity is always nice. Uh, getting more money for my stuff is always nice. I've had a lot of fun with the game. Like, I've played a good 12-ish hours now, and I've had a lot of fun with it. It's a, It reminds me a lot of, like, a mix between Fallout New Vegas and Bioshock. Especially with the looting mechanics. Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna walk faster. Not that I walk very much, but I'm gonna walk faster. <laughs> 